There doesn't seem like a better way to launch the Inside EVs YouTube channel than with the brand new Tesla Model Y performance. Hey, it's amazing. I'm Kyle with Inside EVs, and today we will find out how this car drives on the road, on track, and maybe a little bit off-road as well. We all know Model Y is the larger, more family-sized version of Model 3. We've gotten a lot of questions about the car and we will go in depth in the future on this. So please subscribe to Inside EV's YouTube channel because we have a lot to do with Model Y. We'll be camping with it, going on big road trips, and of course, ripping it around our track and the tail of the dragon. Now let's talk about the size of this car. It is larger than Model 3 by quite a bit. It's almost as big as Model X and it actually has a more comfortable rear seat than Model X in my opinion. But today isn't about the size of the car dimensionally. We're gonna talk about how the Model Y is to drive. Driving Model Y. Well, initial impressions, I've spent quite a bit of time in Model 3, is you really notice the increased ride height right off the bat. I mean, obviously it sits higher, but the seat relation to the whole car is higher up as well. I actually prefer the driving position. My knees seem to be in a really great spot. So we're heading out of the Inside EV's new studio and racetrack in partnership with Out of Spec. This is a really, really great place to be. So before we start ripping around Model Y, let's talk about how it drives in the place most people are gonna be driving this car, which is daily driving around town, around your city, or just cruising up and down the highway. The first impression is the build quality is significantly better than Model 3. It has great noise canceling. I mean, it's so quiet in here. I will say the steering's a little quick though. When you are cruising down the road and you need to swerve to adjust something, it takes very little steering input for the car to move. It almost makes it feel darty. So if you tend to do this going down the road, you will be swerving all over the place. The Model 3 has this as well, but this seems to be a little bit more impressive. In terms of range, you guys have seen this car does incredible range. Even on the 21 inch wheels, it will easily achieve near rated range of 280 miles just cruising down the highway. So significantly higher <laughs> if you drive around the city. Really, really impressive. And because this is an electric car, electric cars have a lot of torque. So if someone's stuck in front of you and you just need to go blowing past them, foot down, oh my goodness, foot down hard and she rips. That was a big number. I'm not gonna share what it was. Wow, that is just exhilarating. Everything about daily driving Model Y is just seamless and unintrusive. A lot of cars filled with technology really make you think about the driving experience, what buttons you're gonna hit, how the car's performing to your inputs. The Model Y is totally the opposite. You just get in, put it in drive, and go. And you can think about whatever is on your mind. These are the little things that Tesla has done so well and way better than any automaker for a daily driving experience. But there are other Teslas on the market as well. So is Model Y the best Tesla for your average daily driver? I think so, for driving daily. It really is. I would prefer to drive this than Model 3 every day. And I think I would prefer to drive this daily than any car on the market. It may be that good. So with that said, let's go see how this car drives when you turn the switch up to 11. Crank it up around the inside EV's racetrack, just for a little fun. It's not the intended purpose, but I'm really curious, what happens when you drive like your hair is on fire? The Model 3 is really good. Did the higher ride height and suspension change kill the fun? There's only one way to find out. And 
so we've come here to the Inside EV's Proving Grounds and Test Track. We have the car now on 18 inch wheels with cheap tires and we're going to see for no other reason than just because we can if the Model Y is any fun when you get a little wild. Traction control is our limitation here. I mean it's just heavy for these century tires. Yeah. Come into the transition. <laughs> So you can feel it's really, it's an oversteer chassis because if I lift off, you see how it yeah. breaks the front? Um, that's it compensating for oversteer. So it's very similar to Model 3 in handling characteristics, which is great. Just heavier. Just heavier, but honestly, it's kind of fun because you're managing the weight control. So there's more to do, which is really great. And so let's go full power down for the straight. You can feel the back end yeah. open there, which is nice. Not sideways, but really fun. We're wide open. That's 110 like it's nothing. <laughs> Rips, 125, 130 down the street. So how do you normally go dyno mode? You would brake, left turn signal, hold this down. Dino test, right? Oh yeah, she'll drip. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like a Subaru STI, and it has ABS and Dino mode still. You can feel it cutting a little bit. Yeah, Model Y, you can have fun with it. <laughs> High five on that. At the Inside EV's track, we have miles of off-road trails and obstacles, and this one is perfect to test out the Model Y's new off-road assist feature. Now, we've had zero experience with this, so you're gonna come around and learn with us. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth video on this, of course, click the pop-up banner up here for Brian's video on him off-roading his Model Y. Let's jump into it. Let's uh, have you jump in it and off-road your car with only 500 miles on it now. Go right around there, <laughs> a little bit less. All right, let's go get it dirty. So the first challenge is gonna be this really steep hill. Uh, what we're gonna do is see if you notice a difference with off-road assist off and then off-road assist on. I'm pretty excited to see what happens. Will it even make it up? I don't know. Off-road assist off. Just floor it? Just floor it. Wow, that has a lot of traction. <laughs> okay, this might not be as strong of an obstacle as we need, but let's put off-road assist on and see if the car behaves any differently. Well, instantly from my angle, I could tell that the wheels had more spin, although it's not really needed on this surface. I think we need to go find a more aggressive obstacle. So let's get up over this hill onto the rest of the trails and see what this Model Y can really do. The Model Y is not an off-roader by any means. It's more of a car people will take across a grassy field to get to a music festival, to be honest but it does have a off-road assist mode. And in this mode, you can really tell Tesla has tuned the accelerator pedal and the ESP system to allow a little bit more slip and provide power to the correct wheels when needed. Pretty impressive, although it won't be used very much or for any sort of hardcore true off-roading. And as the sun is setting and the sky starts to rain, we are finishing up our day with Tesla Model Y. And wow, this car is 
definitely the easiest Tesla to live with every day. So great to get in and out. Tons of cargo space. Great to put the dogs in. Autopilot. I don't know what more you could want from a daily driver. But if you decide to turn it up a notch, it's amazing on track. It drives like a little rally car out there. And speaking of a rally car, we had a blast off-roading this thing, getting wheels in the air, testing the ESP system with off-road assist. It really makes a difference. This is sort of a all-rounder, do-it-everything car. If you need to just have one car in the garage and nothing else, look no further than Tesla Model Y Performance. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Inside EV's YouTube channel for more. And thank you again to Brian from i1Tesla. We'll see you guys later.